Hi everyone. In today's class, we will discuss about eight puzzle problem without heuristic. First, let us see what is meant by the eight puzzle problem. Let us see the problem statement. We will be given a three by three grid. So in this, you have totally nine blocks. These blocks are movable, and here you have only one empty slot. So this is the empty slot. So any one of the block which is adjacent to this empty slot can be moved into this one i hope all of you have played this in your childhood days so this is nothing new to us but here we are seeing in the perspective of ai that means we should train the machine to solve this particular puzzle so usually we we are very much trained to set the goal state as 1 2 3 4 5 6 Seven, eight, and at the end we will leave a blank space. So this is the way we will be sorting, right? So instead of taking this regular one as a goal state, let us take a different one as a goal state. So this is the goal state that we are expecting to solve. So the initial one is the start state that we have, and this is the goal state that should be achieved with the help of the state space tree. let us see the construction of our state space tree while constructing the state space tree always we will keep in mind our goal state okay we will always start as usual with the start state so this is our start state and while proceeding with the construction we have discussed that there will be four components right so what are the four components that we discussed in the previous video so the first one is a set s which is a set of start states and then we'll have the intermediary nodes so each node can be treated as a state of the problem and then we will be having a set of arcs the third one is we will we'll also have arcs on these arcs we will specify the operator so this operator will be based on heuristic or without heuristic so in this problem we are not discussing any heuristic so the fourth component is a set g which contains set of goal states so let us start with our example of eight puzzle so here this is our start state so each state we are indicating as a node so now if you take this one into consideration what are the various operators possible so here is my empty slot so either i can move this upper tile into this empty slot or this left tile into this empty slot or this right tile into this empty slot so there are totally three possible moves so those moves only we are considering as the operator on the arc so here totally there are three possibilities one is moving the upper tile into the empty slot or moving the left tile into the empty slot or moving the right tile into the empty slot so if i move the up tile this is the resulting state if i move the left tile into empty slot this is the resulting state if i move the right tile into empty slot this is the resulting state so now let us observe how close we are to the goal state okay so let us observe one by one row so if you observe the first row second row and third row so here if you see the third row third row is 418 in this state so here in the goal state also it is 418 so that means if i explore this one further if i expand this node further i may reach to the goal state fast compared to the remaining two so because here you can see so here i have 4 8 so here i have 4 8 in the starting so it will take more number of moves to sort this third third row itself so that means i can move this 4 here i should move this 1 here similarly here i should move this 8 here and this i should move this 1 into this empty slot so there are more number of moves in order to sort the third row itself but here in this particular state i already have the third row as a desired goal state so i will consider this as my next e node 
so this is what we have done so far okay so here this left and right i am not considering because it is not matching with the goal state so because in the goal state the third row is 418 and the second row is 7 followed by a blank and here a 2 the first row is 5 3 and 6 so now let us take this particular one as the next e node and let us start expanding this one so what are the possibilities if i want to expand so here my actually my blank tile is in the middle so i can move all the four adjacent tiles into this empty slot but if i move this down slide into the empty slot i will be reaching to the previous state only which will be considered as a looping state so i will not take this move if i go with a down tile moving into the empty slot it is resulting in a looping state so we will not be taking this particular move as the operator so what are the remaining moves that i can have is either i can move my left tile right tile or the up tile so the three possibilities that we have is either moving up the upper tile or the left tile or the right tile so if i move the up tile this is the resulting state that i will be having if i move the left this is the resulting state if we move the right this is the resulting state now once again let us see which is the most promising move so that means which will lead me to the goal state very fast so let us observe one by one so if i consider this particular one in the second row i have 7 and 2 so here also i should have 7 2 but this 5 is extra here okay okay fine so let us observe the next one so here i have only 5 and 2 there is no 7 here and similarly if you observe this row there is no 7 here so comparatively if i move along this particular path i will have the possibility of reaching to the goal very fast so let us not expand these two and let us expand only this particular one so now what are the possible moves that we will be having is i can't move this down tile up again the reason is same if i move the down tile i will be having a looping state that means once again we will be ending back in the previous state itself that should not happen so i will not move this down tile into this empty slot we will only move either the left or the right so the two operators that we have is either a left or a right so if i move the left tile into empty slot this is the resulting state if i move the right tile this is the resulting state so now one more time let us observe these two states or these two nodes with the goal state let us compare so if you see the first row so here i have 3 6 okay so these 3 6 are matching with these 3 6 they are in the same position and they are in the first row also similarly in the second row i have 7 2 this is the previous comparison that we made and in a similar way let us observe this also so here the both the second rows are the same but there is a difference in the first row so here 3 and 6 i have but i have in different positions compared to the goal state so if i proceed along this way again the path length will be more so this is not a promising move so let us consider this particular node as the next e node so now what are the possible moves that we will be having either moving this down tile to the empty space or moving this left tile to empty space if i move this sorry moving this right tile into this empty slot if i move the right tile again it is a looping condition so i will not do that so the only possible move is moving this down tile into the empty slot so that is the only operator that we are considering so if i move the down tile this is the resulting state that i have obtained so now let us once again compare this with the goal state so in the goal state the first row is 536 yes it is matching 
the second row is 7 in the first place then followed by an empty slot followed by a 2 so this is not matching this should be solved further third row is matching ok fine so now let us see what is the possibility that that will lead me to the goal state so either I can move this up tile to down but I should not move this upper tile because it is leading me to a looping state so the only possibility is either moving this down tile to the empty slot or moving this right tile to the empty slot ok so but I can very clearly understand that if I move this here that is enough I will be landing up in my goal state so the only operator that we are considering is a right ok and if I move the right tile into this empty slot this is my resulting state so here I also have the option of moving this down tile so this down tile can be moved into the empty slot but that will cause me in losing the third row so this operator is also possible but we are not considering ok so moving this down tile is also possible but we will not consider we are considering only moving the right tile into the empty slot so this is my resulting configuration let us once again compare this with our goal state yes first row is matching second row is matching third row is matching yes we have achieved our desired goal state so this is how we will be solving without heuristic so our eight puzzle problem is solved now into the desired goal state so now let us see what are the problems that will be faced by the machine. So here with our intellect we have decided that this path length will be more, this one path length will be more. Similarly, so here whatever we have crossed everything we have decided with our intellect that these are not going to lead me to the goal state. So these are not the promising states that we have understood on seeing but the computer will not have this kind of intellect so we should train the machine this is the problem with the non heuristic approach that we will be facing so let us try to overcome this in the heuristic approach that's it for today's video today's video thank you